morning everyone happy monday well it's actually not so happy for me because my sakit si colton oh um, no kahapon ka hindi kagabi pa lang medyo nakakapa ko na medyo may ano siya may temperature siya medyo mainit and then chinek ko meron nga tapos this morning at around five o'clock naramdaman ko na he was tossing and turning in bed na parang uncomfortable siya and finally, he just got up at around siguro mga 5.30. And, um, yun, so we've been awake since then. Tapos nung he woke up at 5.30, meron pa rin siyang ano, um, fever. So I decided na ka-absent na lang muna ako sa work para I could take care of him. And if you've seen my Facebook page, kung hindi nyo pa ako na-follow sa Facebook, and you would like to follow me on Facebook, um, you can search for my name there, Mommy Jeline Vlogs. Um, it's a page, so well, very welcome po kayo doon. But anyways, so nagpost ako doon na parang hugot ba? <laughs> hugot na post na ilan sa mga struggles ng mga working moms ay pag nagkakasakit yung mga anak kasi syempre um, struggle naman talaga kahit working mom ka man or hindi kapag nagkakasakit yung anak, ba? But, yung iba lang sa mga working moms is you like, I don't know for other working moms, maybe I cannot speak for them, but for myself, I feel guilty na I have to be absent from work kasi as much as possible, I don't want to be absent from work. But, um, I also remind myself na ang trabaho, pwede mong palitan, ang trabaho, nandyan lang yan. Ay, oy! Oy, yo, bo! What? Ate Sehi Talking to Ate Sehi Miss na ako guys, char <laughs> <laughs> Yep, I'm sure they do <laughs> Look at her, we're very proud of her She is uh, very active and very smart And she's into different like programs and all in school So very proud of her Sino na siya si... Yan na. Yan na. Yan, so mga bagong followers po natin and subscribers, si Ate Sehi po yung ating panganay. Yan, nasa ilo-ilo pa siya as of now. But we hope to have her here with us soon. Time check, it is almost 10 in the morning and so far parang walang, wala nang fever si Colton. But I would still want to observe him um, all throughout the day para just to make sure. Is that a bird, Colton? Bird sounds? Is that a bird? Okay, time check tayo. Almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon and yung fever ni Colton has been parang on and off. So like in the morning, my temperature siya. Tapos, um, all throughout the morning, nung una, nung una pala, ganito yun, nung una, meron siyang... Yes, ba? Joy! Joy! Yeah! Airplane! Mm -hmm. Yeah, airplane! Good job! So, like, in the early part of the morning, meron siyang temperature, and then during the middle, nawala. Hanggang sa nakatulog siya, nakapag-nap kami actually, um, for a few hours. And then, pagising niya, meron na naman. So, until now, Meron pa siyang ano, um, counting fever. So, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And aside from the fact that, oh my goodness, um, so hindi pa nga ako sure um, about, 
you know, going to work tomorrow. Kasi depende pa yun sa magiging sitwasyon niya. Um, you know, in the morning, like tomorrow, or sa gabi, depende. So, anyways, meron tayong Amazon package. Bumili kasi ako ng, ano, ng protein bars. Kasi nga, diba, I've been trying to lose some weight. And so, yung protein bars somehow makes me feel full. So, aside from my meal replacement shake, um, after a few hours after ha I have the meal replacement shake, I normally eat a protein bar para it's going to be a bridge for um, the next maybe a meal if it's lunchtime or for the next meal replacement shake that I'll be having. So, I've been liking the Nature Valley protein um, bar. Yung mga binibili ko from whenever I do the grocery shopping is normally the chocolate one just because that's what they have sa Walmart that I go to. Um, but I really wanted to try like a different um, flavor. So nakita ko to sa Amazon. It's salted caramel nut na um, flavor. Sabi ko, ay parang, parang bet ko. <laughs> Kaya I ordered one. And... Um, we've got uh, melatonin because sometimes Colton, actually most of the time, he's having a hard time to wind down para matulog sa gabi. So, it really helps him, um, you know, if we have melatonin, it does help. And it is safe, you know, um, we asked the pediatrician, okay lang daw to administer uh, melatonin sa mga bata. So, that's it. It's up to you if you don't want to use something like that. No judgment from me here. And also, if you want to try it, talk to your kids' pediatrician first and see what they say. But for our case, it's a it's a go for us. So, and it, it helps everyone. It helps him fall asleep. It helps us also to get some sleep at night. And also, can I just say, talagang ano problem ko talaga yung hair ko ever since. I could remember. You probably see that in my video. Sometimes, like I look like a basang sisiu. It's because ang hair ko super super oily. It gets oily really quickly. Sabi nila, it's not healthy for the hair to always um, take a bath or take a shower and then you use a shampoo. Ganon. So I've been trying to do it every other day. Na hindi ako nag hindi ako na liligo. Hindi ko binabasa yung hair ko. I mean, I do like a half bath, but hindi ko binabasa yung ulo ko. <laughs> but the problem is. Ito na nga siya, parang ang oily-oily niya. And I think it's because manipis yung buho ko. So, tapos naturally wavy yung hair ko. And, um, ilang taon ba ako nag-pageant-pageant? Na, nung nag-pageant. Um, I think I was in fourth year high school. So, mga nasa 15, 16 years old. Nung first ako na na-involved sa mga pageant-pageant ka nun. And since, Freezy nga. Naturally, yung buho ko is natural na parang wavy and then freezy. So, uh, nag-start ako sa pag-relax -re ng hair para mag-straight. Kasi it's easier to manage, di ba, pag-straight yung buho mo. Uh, so, after a while, bumabalik din yung mga tubo ba. Yung tubo ng buho mo bumabalik, di ba? Until such time na nauso yung rebound, so nag -re na ako ng hair para naman to, again, help with managing the hair. Ganun. Pero, it's it's uh, it's like an, an ending cycle because of course, it's true. 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 Hair stylist, makeup artist, and also an entrepreneur. Kasi ang dami niyang ano, <laughs> ang dami niyang mga racket talaga, ang dami niyang business na binibenta online. So, I really admire her for that. And I think she watches my videos. So, if you are Sis Anna, hello. <laughs> Shout out sa'yo. So, siya yung nagribahan ng hair ko and I loved it. Kaso, ayan, may tubo na nga siya. Kasi ilang months na rin. Ayan, kinakita niyo na wave wave na siya. O, oh, ayan, may wave wave na ganun. So, struggle talaga for me yung hair as as far as I can remember. <laughs> hindi ako bin, eh, isa ako sa mga taang hindi nabiyayaan ng magandang buhok. Which is okay. Uh, kasi nobody's perfect naman. 